Hey guys, Mike McGuire from the Drive Home on Kissing Country 103.9. Welcome you to Horlack Park here. We just finished our first group training session for team and training this year. They invited me back as an honorary captain. If you've been uh, following me on the show or on my blog, you may know that uh, last summer I was actually diagnosed with a, uh, a heart thing that's actually going to have an operation coming up for in the next little while here. But uh, lucky for me, my cardiologist says it's okay to run. But uh, the folks at work and at team and training said, you know what, Mike, you don't have to run. You can just come down. We'd like you to be an honorary team captain. I said, thank you very much. But uh, of my own accord, again, work didn't tell me I had to do this or anything. Uh, I said, I would like to run. I would like to be a regular participant like anyone else. So I am fundraising uh, for team and training. If you don't know what it is, it's a, a fundraiser for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And this will be my third time fundraising for them. And I'm going to be running the Montreal, the first ever rock and roll half marathon in Canada. And it's going to be coming up in September. So I have until then, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get trained for this thing. I'm excited for it. I'll have my little thing in between. But other than that, I'm going to be aces and ready to go. So if you'd like to support me, please follow the link that's attached to either the YouTube video or if you're watching this on a blog posting and uh, you can also see the link right here as well if you want to take the time to type all that out as well. Uh, also, you can go to kissinfm.com slash team and training. This is why. If you've heard me talking about doing this, if you said, you know, man, that sounds like something that, that I'd love to try and do, this is your chance to do it. This coming Saturday, June 9th, it's a bit of an early start, 8.30 a.m. We're gonna be meeting here at Horlack Park, actually, just over to my right, there's uh, the big chalet here. You know where you come in the winter to get your skates and everything on? That chalet there is where we're gonna be meeting. Look for me, look for anybody else in purple or white team and training gear, and we'd love to have you down here. It's a day called Try Training. It's also your chance, the final chance, to sign up for this season if you'd like to try it out for yourself and either run the San Francisco Nike Women's Marathon, which is sold out already we have spots for the team in training, or you can join me in Montreal for the rock and roll full or half. When I started with team in training, it changed my life, literally. Since then, I've ran in a total of seven half marathons, did my first full marathon just a month ago, and it's something that I love to do. The best part is when you do it with team in training, you're also affecting the lives of other people around you in a very positive way. But don't just take my word for it. I had a chance to be a part of the team and training kickoff last week and I met some of my new teammates, got all signed up, and I asked them about their stories and why being a part of this cause matters to them. You have um, now a part of the number one endurance sports training uh, program in the world. Uh, we've collectively raised over a billion dollars for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society um, since 1988. Um, and that includes now over 400,000 people that have done what you're about to start doing. I chose team and training because it was to benefit the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society and I have uh, two personal connections, um, people with leukemia, so to me it was just the obvious choice. I keep coming back to teaming training because it's such a great experience. Um, you meet so many amazing people and everyone's here for the same reason. It's just uh, to raise money for an amazing cause and, and just to have fun and to challenge yourself. I'd always wanted to run a marathon or half marathon or something in my lifetime and um, when I heard that it was you could get training and coaching to do a marathon and it was going to benefit the Leukemia Society, I knew I was in. I ran Seattle in 2010, I ran Kauai in 2010, I was assistant coach this season and I uh, was the coach for the fall season in 2011. I would, um, I would tell them about people like my cousin Jordan and my friend Matt and how their money uh, makes a difference, that it's, it's going towards something and it, it is changing lives. My most memorable experiences, I think, with team and training, for me, it was when I was coaching and having my participants cross the finish line. Um, it really just made me proud to see that these people who couldn't run 10 feet six months earlier were now finishing their, their, uh, their first full marathon. So that was a really memorable moment for me. I would tell them about my cousin Jordan and my friend Matt and how their money um, can benefit people like them and make a difference in their lives. It's uh, when, when you know somebody who has leukemia and you see what they go through, you know uh, when money is raised and it's going towards things that it's actually making a difference. It's one of the hardest things you're ever going to do in your life, but I also guarantee it's going to make the biggest difference in your life. Come and join us if you're interested. Team in training, try training day right here, Horlack Park, Saturday, June 9th at 8.30 a.m. Go team! Woo!